Our evening rush jazz with Abdu Mwesige. Uganda is the pearl of Africa and many of you here, Uganda the pearl of Africa, but you don't know what makes it to be the pearl of Africa. One of these are beautiful sceneries, the tourism attraction sites, and today we are at Kavumba Recreation Center in Wakiso District. Kavumba Recreation Center, it is a wide area, it is a big area, and it has different uh, sceneries, different uh, uh, areas where you can go and eat your money or enjoy your money with your friends, whatever. Now where I'm standing now, it is a zoo department. And with me here, I have a facilitator, uh, Madame, or you can call her Miss Immaculate Ahisibe. Glad to have you on Evening Rush Jazz with Madam Me too, you're welcome to this center. Okay, my camera person, I've worked with Mr. Francis Nande, go on camera and um i would like you okay you first focus on this my facilitator um we shall increase on the voice so you can first have a say to you our viewers you can say hi to them and we continue with our story today okay hello everyone i'm ahisibu Immaculate, currently working at kavumba recreation center under zoo department Kavumba Recreation Center have got many different activities and departments whereby you can come and enjoy whatever you want. For example, we've got the playground, we've got the accommodation, we've got the conference hall where you can make your functions from that accommodates over 350. We have got a carnival hall that you can come for your dances that can be there every day up to, to from evening till morning we've got a beautiful swimming pool and we've got beautiful gardens where you can make your parties from wow what what like what i've liked to have had the uh, dances where you can get, have your dances and my camera person when you talk about dances you may sleep here now let us extend uh, this way um come closer to have a view at this now, Madam Ahaisi, where you match it. Yes, some of us, me inclusive, we always even fear to be close to these animals, such animals. Where do you get that courage to find yourself that you are here and you are a facilitator? Uh, first of all, to be with these animals, you have to be with that heart of loving animals. Mm. So, when you're in school, these things are taught in school. Mm. Uh, they are taught in school theoretically, but when we come to the field, mm. we find that they are taught practically. And from there, you are taught how to handle each and every animal, its behavior. So you find that you no longer fear each and every animal. That's how we come mm. relating to each and every type of the animal without fear. So now, uh, when there is that relationship, you may find that uh, this is what zebra. It's a zebra. So you may find the zebra now knows immaculate, but it doesn't know me. It, is it right? Yeah, it is right. You have that relationship with them. Yeah, because the more time I spend with animals, they mm. can get used to me than you a new face who comes to them. Then the other one. Uh, that one, it's an ostrich. It's a Mm. Male ostrich, we've got other two mm. ahead there. One is in gray in mm. color, mm. whereby these black ones are usually males. And I actually was going to ask you that females. how do you differentiate that this is a male and this is a female? You have already explained. Yeah. Now, how do you get to know that? Now, this is a black. Is it a male? Uh, this is a black here, around its a uh, it's a female because mm. the zebras, the way they are created, they are like cows. You know, when you come across a cow, you can mm. easily tell that this yes. is a female and this is a female. Mm. So, this one here is a female, and the other one there is a male. Now, how do you get to know that maybe now this time it wants to eat or it wants water? How do you get to know? Uh, how you can tell that uh, this time these animals want water mm. or food? Mm. Uh, we feed them first and foremost. We feed them twice in a day. Twice in a day. Twice in a day. Mm. Whereby it's a mandatory that we give them food at around 11 a.m. Mm. and at 4 p.m. when we are almost closing the day. 
Then for water, we create for them ponds whereby we usually put water so they drink at any time that they feel like. Now, we've had uh, twice a day. Yeah. If a person, we are told that maybe a person can eat three times a day. And we, in our perception, our own perception, who are not uh, used to these animals, we know that animals eat much than a person. So if a person eats three times a day, why do you give these ones twice a day? We give them twice a day, but in large quantities. Mm -hmm. Okay, we shall continue to other places. This was part of the zoo. We have seen a zebra, you have seen also. Do you have any other animals? Yeah, we have more other animals like under climates. We have mm -hmm. monkeys, we have baboons, under reptiles, we have goats, snakes, we eh? crocodiles. Even snakes. Yeah, crocodiles, we've got yeah, tortoises. Mm. Even yeah. snakes. So, and under antelopes too, we still have water bugs and, and impala. Like you're going to see them as we know. Alright. We have a male crocodile. It is a male crocodile. So we have types of crocodiles. Yeah, we have many types of crocodiles, but when it comes to Kavumba Recreation Center, for mm. us we've got only one type known as male crocodile. These are the crocodiles that stay both in water and in land. Yeah, that's why they are called live. Live crocodiles. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So these are crested coins? These are crested coins, they stay together with Egyptian geese. Those are the types of the ducks that can't mm. stay without water. They but stay in water? They can't stay without water. Mm. Where they be, there must be water. That's why the sick coins mm. are constructed all over where they stay. So, so now, these ones, they depend on what? Those ones feed mainly on this ground. They can feed on other cereals like sorghum, rice, mm. millet. Um, both grinded and ungrinded gymnasts. Oh, that's mm -hmm. mm -hmm. oh, There is another thing No, the other one was sweet. Was the female, was the male, the other crocodile that we saw the other side? No, the crocodile that we saw first mm. was a male, and this one here mm. is a female. It's a female crocodile. Yeah. And if they ask, if they feed on what? what the crocodiles are fresh fishes. They mm. feed on fresh meat. Mm. They you can give them fresh fish, fresh chicken. That's what they purposely feed on. And now my question would be, um, how do they multiply? Crocodiles do multiply by, they do mate mm. and reproduce by laying eggs on, on sand. But here you can see we separated them in different forms, reason mm. being that we got them from different areas. So the other one was the Nile crocodile. Even this, this one is the Nile crocodile, crocodile, but got from mm -hmm. different families. For crocodiles to be together mm -hmm. and make them multiply, they must be coming from the same family. And that's true. Yeah. This, this looks to be too young. Yeah, this is a young one of a crocodile. Mm. And when it comes to crocodiles, we usually call them juveniles or hatchlings. That is the language you use here. Me, yeah. I know crocodiles, but glad that I am learning now new other names. Yeah. So for you, you usually call it a baby crocodile. Yeah, that's why it's said too young. All right. Then I'm seeing beautiful more animals here. These are red-tailed monkeys in this cage, these ones. Mm. I call, we call them red-tailed monkeys because of their long and red hair.
What well, I see, they cannot run even. They are used to people. Uh, these are used to people. They are like human beings. The more they interact with human beings, yeah. the more they can use. So so they can't run away. And which language do you use to communicate with them? I think when you are living with certain things, there is that language that you use to communicate. Animal language. Animal language. Mm -hmm. We shall not go into details of animal language. Okay. This one is what? Come again? It's a savocat. A savocat. For me, to my face, it looks to be like a leopard. That's why you had to yeah. extend behind. Yeah, they usually yeah, look they together mm. and they are, as you've said, that extend behind. Mm. Indeed, they are dangerous animals because they fall under cat family. Cat family. Yeah. And cat family is always harsh sometimes. Yeah, you know, under cat family, we've got these several cats, low cats, yeah, lions, yeah. as you understand. Yeah, fine. Right. They wait. Come again. They feed on what? They feed on eggs, young ones of chicken, these mm. small chicks, three mm. to four day old, and young ones of guinea pigs. And how do you feed them after getting that uh, food, the, the eggs and what? How do you again go to feed them? Don't you fear them? No, this is the type of snake that mm. do not jump or run. So it is okay when you get your chicks to mm. open the door, you enter and press in chicks that they are going to eat. For other snakes which are dangerous, which mm. can spit like spitting cobras, you can first be somewhere you view the direction where the snake is before you put in food. All right. The spitting one, so you cannot just open far. Yeah, to open here, you must be in all gears. You dress up from your head up to feet so mm. that you can control its venom when it spits. All right, they also feed on young chicks and eggs. Yes, next feed on the same food. All right. So there is this one. It looks like uh, a crocodile we saw the other thing. Yeah, the usual look alike. Mm -hmm. So this is a total. And me I'm not going to lift you just <laughs> So this is the totus, you see they are friendly. Yeah, these are friendly animals. When, while you're handling them, you can just start on them. Mm. Most people usually do like this on them. You find them hurting them, which is bad, mm. you can affect their lungs. You just have to massage them like this, or you lift them mm. gently. I will also touch them. Oh, yeah, also touch them. <laughs> yeah, you can touch them. Most of them do. Okay. Which age? Hmm. It's around 45 to 48. camera <laughs> blue. It is around what? 45 to 48 years old. And it is, looks like this, like this. Yeah, it looks like this because you know my lifespan for the first age hmm. takes up 500 years. So if it is like in one uh, at one year, hmm. it is it, it looks like it's how it is. One year. Yes. Oh, yeah, you can, you know these normal lizards that move on trees, the younger ones, so it can be two to be four. So if, if I may tell you like one of eight years, if you can tell from here. 
if this I can tell that it's mm. only eight years, being that the young, when it's one year old, it's mm. usually very little, like you can't even recognize it. So this one is eight years, the other one is 45. Yeah, so 30, 48. Wonderful. Mm. And this, 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 this is the head. Yeah. And what is, yeah. doing, what is it doing inside? Yeah. You know, as I said, for snakes, they feed on young ones of chicks, but this is a different type of the snake. Mm. The biggest one, python, it feeds on all that chick, and that's why this is inside. So it means it is now satisfied because it is here, it doesn't touch on it. So it when it gets hungry, yeah. it is when to come. But by the way, they have been two inside. Mm. One is just from feeding, and this is left for another snake. It is the one that is going to eat it. Wow. Yeah, that's how some snakes react, mm. react mostly in cobras. Mm. You saw forest cobras there. Now, this is Egyptian cobra. So, if you have come to feed it and you find it is like that, do you continue and enter? It depends where it is. Like where it is right now, you can mm. enter from the other side and put in food. Then you go but, away. Yeah, but when you find it near the door, where mm. we have some tools that we use, like hooks, stones, mm. to put it inside, then you put in food. It looks tough and it looks annoyed. <laughs> How are you, brother? It is bad. Brother. Took a view. It is bad, yeah. Brother. The brother is now feeling the world it is all uh, it is a male or a female. This is a female the brother's monkey. It is the most peaceful and friendly among all the monkeys that we have here. Brother Brother Oh yeah. viewer they think you can see how friendly this facilitator and the animals the, the relationship it is all wow. Brother Brother, 